The overall goal of this procedure is to provide a standardized protocol for preparing and processing dried blood spots to be subsequently used in immunoassays and in molecular techniques. This is accomplished by first taking capillary blood and transferring it to a filter card. The second step is to dry blood spots overnight and to obtain 6 mm punches out of the circles of the filter card. Next, the elution of dried blood from the punches is achieved by immersion in buffer on a shaker for a minimum of 4 hours. The hemolytic eluates are then freed from debris by centrifugation. The final step is to analyze the cleared eluates for serological and molecular markers of infections with the hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and human immunodeficiency viruses by commercially available immunoassays and molecular techniques. The idea of using blood collected on a filter card made of cellulose originated a century ago. Nevertheless, people using this method for the first time will often struggle even today because the entire pre-analytical phase, which comprises the preparation and processing of dried blood spots for their final analyses, has not been standardized for almost all applications of dried blood spot testing. Given this background, we suggest a comprehensive, standardized, step-by-step -step protocol for the preparation and processing of dried blood spots to be subsequently used in immunoassay and molecular techniques. Visual demonstration of this methodology seems to be crucial as several steps like taking off...